please click the thumbs up like and subscribe and the bell notification. Thank you. Please click the thumbs up like and subscribe and the bell notification. Thank you. And now, welcome to Raga Shanti Live with your host, Miss Cherry Wash Belly, Dr. Raga Shanti. Can you believe it? That is man come from Wichita in Kansas, Kansas, in the United States of America. And couple of years year about it already. I would not like it even about it already. But why a woman sit on a toilet seat for two years? You hear me, Mr. Missetti? A woman sit on a toilet seat for two years. Eh? Wait, ask me what she did. I do. Me can't tell you then. <laughs> But me said, you man get me in trouble here, man. <laughs> I don't know what could have taken you two years by the time. <laughs> That's a long one. But anyway, make a reading. Authorities are considering charges in the bizarre case of a woman who sat on her boyfriend's toilet for two years, so long that her body was stuck to the seat by the time the boyfriend finally called the police. Is this for real? No, it's true. No, Miss Eddie, it's true. See, it's the news. See, there, you must think I lie. I tell listen. She eat. Eh? She but she must eat. But I hear the rest of the prickle. Next County Sheriff Brian Whipple said it appeared the 35 year old Ness City woman's skin had grown around the seat. She initially refused emergency medical services but was finally convinced by responders and her boyfriend that she needed to be checked out at a, at a hospital. We pried the toilet seat off with a pry bar and the seat went with her to the hospital, Whipple said. The hospital removed it. Whipple said investigators planned to present their report Wednesday to the county attorney who will determine whether any charges should be filed against the woman's 36-year-old boyfriend. She was not glued. She was not tied. <coughs> she was just physically stuck by her body, Whipple said. It is hard to imagine. I still have a hard time imagining myself. And I am going to pick her up after, you know. Mm -hmm. And him seems still have a hard time, I grasp. He told investigators he brought his girlfriend food and water and asked her every day to come out of the bathroom. And her reply would be, Maybe tomorrow, Whipple said. According to him, she did not want to leave the bathroom. Crazy. What about sitting, sitting up so long? What about the spine? And them something that, but whatever, the that's, spine, talk about the spine in a year, them say. She's been on it so long okay. because she's in a sedentary position, her position, you know. So our, our Muslim now move or whatever and things. So it reached the point where, you know the weight yeah, and everything, right. and the and and the muscle get um the muscle get um where I call it now, you know it, it it's yeah, not active, it's not taut, t a u t, and things. So the our skin start to grow around the tile, it's you know. 
them have to carry her on the toilet seat, go hospital, go take off the toilet seat, you know. No, no, no. The physical aspect of it is crazy. But the mental part of it has to be, you know, equally intriguing. What is it that goes on in a woman's mind when nobody never glow her to it? Uh, not ever, but she just go use a toilet one day and just decide, say, nah, get up. Depression? No, it has to be something related to that. Some form of um, depressive, psychotic episode reach her. And yeah, people snap differently, you know, me said it. When pressure reach people, all kind of people snap differently, you know. And fighting you know, someone then go kill their family. Some go jump off at this and that. Hey, you ever talk to some mad people later and see how them then sensible and whatever? Oh, yeah. Because some of them are no more. May I tell you something? May I tell you something? Every day, you know, eh. you're mad every minute. There are times when you're re re regaining. Yeah, you yeah. May I talk to one what you know, and thing and this and that and whatever. And him, him, you know, him seem dirty and black, you know. People hear that story already. And come up to me now. When I see my coming, you know. I don't have to know, like, I need to just kind of prepare myself, like, here we go again. Because you know, you're not eating new kings, and you know, body, you body, you body, you body. And the man come up, and the man say, excuse me, could you spare me $50, please? Something like so. And catch me off guard, and I just, well, 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 you know. Oh, yeah, talk, so, like. I say, what you mean? I say, yeah, you're not mad, man, and you talk, so. I say, did I tell you that I was mad? <laughs> eh. That's not for your play. That's not for your play. No, I tell her careful, don't make this go over the keyboard. Yeah. And thing. Right. No, but some no, I tell her sometimes some people drop out some funny way. What could I go in at this woman in her mind right now? That she um, you know, two years. She just go sit up on the toilet and for no reason. Just say she nah get up back again. I I, I then I love she love toilet seats, huh? Because you know, some women love them bathroom and and thing, you know, but um, I can't, I can't study it with she. I can't study it with she at all. I want to, I want to have my going. All right, you're the plan, people. Again, I tell you, can you believe it? A woman sit down on her toilet for two years straight. Again, in our place yeah. named Wichita, Kansas. Okay. And just for me, I couldn't know, we are going to read it back for now again. Authorities are considering charges in the bizarre case of a woman who sat on her boyfriend's toilet for two years so long that so long that her body was stuck to the seat by the time the boyfriend finally called the police. But you hear them say her boyfriend toilet, you know? Mm -hmm. that mean I know that she lives. I know that she lives, but that is why you have to make sure say your boyfriend now give you a bond. <laughs> eh? No, go, go to no man, something is uh, of course something did it. Something deeper did it. So. Something deeper but deep. Right. Right, right, right. So what when she reach that you know she wants to lie. No, something no no that one yeah. No, she just say uh, let she say, you know what? A tile it had weight, you know. No, nah, sir, let go. You can't stop so long without one lie down. Yeah. Well she did it. The, the, listen, Miss Eddie. Miss Eddie. Whatever the mind want the body for do, yes, let me tell you say the body will do it, yeah? Yes, I know the mind. Whatever the mind want the body for do, the body will do it. Well, except like to fly, go from Jamaica to the United States. There's some serious limitations and so, but in general, you know, I'm going to finish reading. Next County Sheriff Brian Whipple said it appeared the third, the 35-year-old Ness City woman skin had grown around the seat. She initially refused emergency medical services, but was finally convinced by responders and her boyfriend that she needed to be checked out at a hospital. We pried the toilet seat off with a pry bar, and the seat went with her to the hospital, Whipple said. The hospital removed it. Whipple said investigators planned to present their report Wednesday to the county attorney, who will determine whether, whether any charges should be filed against the woman's 36-year-old boyfriend. She was not glued. She was not tied. She was just physically stuck by her body, Whipple said. It is hard to imagine. I still have have a hard time imagining it imagining it myself he told investigators he brought his girlfriend food and water and asked her every day to come out of the bathroom and her reply would be maybe tomorrow whipple said according to him she did not want to leave the bathroom there you have it that was Oh my 
Yeah, Ruth, but that's kind of tricky, you know. Remember, you know, she's a grown woman. He wasn't doing any harm to her, you know. If she decides to go sit down on the toilet seat and don't want to get up, so what am I going to charge him for? And, and, and he might do something to her, you understand? You probably have some kind of intricacies in the law where say, well, she was on your property. You know, in the United States, it's no fall, giants, it's no fall, I mean, I mean and me, I walk by your driveway, and me slip. By your drive, you say, you say, which part? On the sidewalk in front of your yard. Yeah. If me, I walk, this and me slip, you know. Me can sue you, you know. And win. Come on, thing in the United States. And sometimes the people, you have to shove this. So there might be some kind of technicalities in the law that say, no, she was in your property. I just, you know, just some common sense, and, you know. Say, so listen, if somebody dip on your toilet seat so long, it must be quite obvious. After a week, <laughs> that's something wrong with them, much less two years, you know? But from the other side, what I say is, she's a grown woman. And as she go sit down on the seat. Yeah, we're well, a break. We're we'll come back. We're going to play um, the uptown mix up with the world I don't want. Yo, welcome back up in our thing. Check, 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 check. Yeah, man, welcome back up in our thing. The real Jamaican same thing. Seeing the number one entertainment talk show with me, Mr. Washbelly Ragashanti, the real mix up and blender man himself. I can read some email and then we'll play about the uptown mix up with the whole on the sound of one. We'll play. I can read some email for one. Because you're the email thing set up right. So, bop, 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 bop. I can read a few of them and then. Morning Raga, when you talk at work right now, it's past the tambourine. The way our oh, love the source will lock, <laughs> we lock the place with your program. Big up Raga. Big up the Raga crew at ACS. <laughs> the Raga crew. <laughs> the name them too much, but tell Pookie she large again. Large again up in the house. Next to me, you talk, Joshua Occur, yeah man. Big up the Ministry of Labour staff. Big up my baby, Angie, yeah man. Heal up Nika and me, CM1, Tremaine. Next to me, Raga. Wednesday gone was Maggi, Wessel and Worthington Terrace birthday. Big her up. I'm the one that have to keep her informed about the show. You know why? No, I know why. And it's slackness, man. Well, I know I said this because everybody will come to me. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Imagine you need a radio, you know, because imagine a foundation. Imagine we have to link you up with a radio, man. We can't have somebody pass out the information to you. Forget it live. Because we hear a little drama go down and you read it, whatever, you know. So big up Maji up on Worthington Terrace there, right beside, um, where, what they call, um, well, Matalan School, you know, Caribbean University College, that's so. all. UCC, University Caribbean College. University College of the Caribbean. That has always weirded me out. You know? No school has ever had university and college in the same name. It's like somebody, whenever I get a name, they say, yo, I could just cover all the bases. <laughs> Who want go university? Yes, I want to go. Who want to go college? Yes, I want to go. <laughs> so I don't want nobody coming in and I say, is this a college or a university? Hello? You don't see the name? Both? <laughs> Anyway, all right, next email. Hey, Raga, happy to know that I'm still alive to hear your show today because I was not well. Went to the doctor and got some tablets. Took one last night and dropped asleep. Woke up later and forget somebody to take the pill in at the first place and go take the other one. Mr. Raga, when me realized that the second time I take the pill, I start to fret and think I might overdose and might go dead. So I just go beard and put on some nice underpants and some good clothes and clothes. I'm going to wrap up just in case. Glad me the day I know. Big up yourself. <laughs> you read it. You know, she say, basically, she said, you know, she don't do it. She don't go over to us and dead. So, eh? Is, oh, is that him? Oh, basically, I say, him don't know if him not go dead. Him feel say him not go dead. So, in case him not go dead, he make sure some him beard, put on good clothes, clean clothes and whatever, and then just wrap up in that sheet. If I eat this time, I come catch me clean. <laughs> Next, see me, him. Raga, listen up. All Rabalak and 40 students and past students, we Jamaicans respect your loyalty to your school. Let me tell you something. I am getting into politics. Get into the Ministry of Education and merge your schools with St. Hughes, Alpha Academy, Merle Grove, Queens, Immaculate, 
Holy Child and St. Andrews High School for girls. Anyway, a Fortis friend of mine once said, if all or most Jamaicans loved our island the same with the same intensity that they love their schools, we would be the leaders of the world. St. Lucia Sick Lucy looks. Big up Manchester High School, the Cartwright College, Knox College, Ormond Technical, Stets, Monroe, Hampton. And talking about high school. Mix up and blender big up right away. Mix up and blender big up right away. Big up to the big, well, I don't know if she's a big shot. Big up to the woman who awar the high school girl who, in, who have a par man. Her husband, I must say. Again, big up to the woman who award the high school girl who have a husband. With all due respect, miss, it's not the girl you're supposed to be talking to. You know. It's not the girl you're supposed to be taking said pan. I think you should be talking to your husband. Right? And you put yourself in a position now where the girl I hype on you and all him something there. Okay? And, and to the girl I said, well, she probably not listen. What a thingy. Me say a certain high school. In a half a tree. Because that school of the girl. The high school they just broke out, you know. And what is funny is that the other high school were near to it. Them not broke out. You understand what I say, yeah? A certain high school. Traditional up, you know, near brand high school. Where quite a few girls in other school, in half a tree, broke out. But there's a near a top of top high school, right? With the girl in my school and the two of them wander up the road and wander down the road. It's just interesting to me. But that's one out of the two. You have some of my girl in there, man. They're hard core in there. If you hear them out of half a tree, you know. I tell them I yell at them friend, who for this good? Me so and so friend, my good this and that friend. Loud, loud, loud. And people go say, look at girl, where you at? Da, 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 da. Give it to them, you know, and my fault, make yours and so pop down. And then you see the students in front of the other girl, high school. And them just come and, you know, them know in them something there. And interesting. Yo, we're going to play the mix up right you now, the uptown mix up. We're going to rinse the uptown mix up. You ask for it. We're going to rinse it right you now. Proper thing, send it on. Send it. We're going to go proper thing, morning. Hello, pleasant morning. Greetings. Yes, Raga Shanti. Blessings, yeah? Yeah, blessings to you too. This is my first time on your program. Welcome to the family. Yes, I want to say hi to my good friend Clovis Heslop that works with Heart Trust NTA. He's the number one driver and he always listens to your program. As a matter of fact, he was the one that introduced me to your program. Oh, uh, and what's your name again? Clovis Heslop. Clovis Heslop. Driver at Heart Trust. Well, big up Clovis, man. I watch not now. But I was listening to the program this morning, Raga, and you said that you know that uptown people have mix-up too. Yeah. And I just want to share this mix-up with you. Well, please do, darling. Um, it happened some time ago when I was living on Lady Musgrave Road. Uh-huh. So I met this guy, nice guy, brown, pretty eyes, tall and handsome and looking good. All right. And he said, you know, we started talking and stuff and... He invited me to his house. Uh -huh. Of course, he told me that he was not involved and, you know, the works. You know what you guys tell ladies when you want to be with them. With me, I'm an angel. You don't <laughs> see the halo over my head. I'm an angel. <laughs> oh, come on, Rago. Uh -huh. is. Um, he, inter he invited me to his place and, of course, to prove to me that he was not involved with anybody and stuff. Mm. So, one weekend, I packed some stuff and I decided that I was going to his house to stay. Okay. So Friday evening, we went to the movies, and after the movies, he took me to some place where we could overlook the city and the lights, and uh, it was good. It was really, really good, and we stayed there for a while, and we chatted, and we laughed, and it was good, and, you know, one thing led to another up there, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we went home. After hold on, hold on. Home, one thing led to another up on our watch the light. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we were watching the lights. Okay, so I look at things that go down. Yeah, man, everything All right. went down. All right, then, cool. cool. Afterwards, we went back to his place. Mm -hmm. And when we went to his place, um, we were there. But you had to, you, the way the house was, was, was set, you had to go through a living room, go through another bedroom to get to his bedroom. Okay. Place was nice, they said. Anyways, we were there, and that was the Friday evening, early 
Saturday morning, we heard knocking on the door. <laughs> so I was saying to myself, I wonder who could be knocking, you know, disturbing us so early in the morning. Mm -hmm. And he did not respond. So, of course, it's not my place. So it was not in my place to respond either. Right. So I just lay down there. Mm -hmm. And then I heard somebody out there saying, uh, let us just call him Danny because mm -hmm. I don't want to call his Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. so, so I heard somebody outside saying, Danny, Danny, open the door, open the door. I know you're in there. I know you're in there because I know that the door cannot be locked from outside. Oh. Of course, this was a female voice now, and I started shaking in my clothes. Uh -huh. So I said to myself, Lord, have mercy, what is this I get myself into? Mm -hmm. So, you know, he was there, and I said to him, Danny, who is that outside? And he said to me, it's my son's mother. So I said, so why is she here so early? Didn't you tell me that you guys are not involved? You know, we can't talk about that. No, we can't talk about that. No, but anyway, <laughs> this lady outside, you know, banging down the door. I tell you, Raga, she was just banging down the door and behaving badly. Uh -huh. So at the time, I wanted to urinate now. So I said to him, Danny, I really need to urinate. You know, and we so wait, I catch you, catch your friend. I'm ready to wet up yourself. Ready. Tell you, oh, well, yeah, so nah, said, eh. I had to go through the living room, mm -hmm. go back out to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So I really needed to go. So I, he said to me, he took a powder dish off the dresser and said to me, "You want to use this?" Well, uh, <laughs> what, 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 what is that, Marina? <laughs> because there was no way that we could get outside. And I well, said, uh, well, uh, which door? She never did. I licked down the front door. She was she, okay. The house is set up that you had to go through the living room, right? Then through another bedroom, to right? Get to his room, right? Now the other bedroom that was where the bathroom was, and those two rooms shared that one bathroom. Okay. And so I, I would have no, to but at which door she did I lick though? She was hitting on the other bedroom door. Oh, she came and I, over the there, so the bathroom there, I, the other bedroom, the bathroom there. Exactly, and that is where I wanted to go. And so I you catch your afraid that you all want to wet up yourself now for use a bathroom. I almost peed myself. So, uh, so when you tell him, say now, this big bossy man, you tell him, say you really need to go over there go use a bathroom. Him take a powder dish off, I yes. just like, oh, what, what? And he took, he took one of his rags and he emptied the powder in the rag and said to me, you want to use this? <laughs> <laughs> well, I did. I want them mad. Where is him? Him take out the powder with the powder. This car boss is something. Don't tell him boss it thing. And then him empty the powder in our rag and give you the container. I say, you want to use this? Well, I can't be a sickly person. We now go to the right side. Don't we know you could have deal. <laughs> anyway, go out there, go out there. So anyways, Raga, when, when the, we, the, the banging on the door finally stopped, <laughs> you know, and I was still saying that, you know, I don't know if this girl is lurking outside or anything. Uh -huh. So I said to myself, you know, I really, as soon as possible, I need to take myself out of this place. I need to get home. Yes, yes. So Raga, I was there, man, and I could see that he was nervous too, you know. And I tell you. You see, by the time I could think of getting myself together, of course, you know, I had to use the powder dish because it was really coming down. Well, on, well, on, well, on, well. On. You really use the powder dish? Yes, you use the powder dish to relieve yourself? If it, if it wasn't the powder dish, Raga, it would have been his bed or the floor. Then tell me something. So well, on. then the powder dish did big. It was a good size powder dish. So you, you know, fool it up? You fool it up? Yeah, I had to. T well, the cover was already taken off. Right. So we had to take the cover off to empty the powder in the towel. Right, right. And then I had to use the powder dish. So well, you, you, I you, you, well, I, straight. you, 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 well, I, some was on the floor, some, because I was so nervous, I could barely, right, yeah, tremble, so you put on the powder dish and just kind of like squat, look at me, to do it straight, rag, and, it and it couldn't, and you couldn't it. aim, in the aim was a little bit uh, difficult, don't it, oh, that mercy, rag, I could not get to aim, but then, you, you, <laughs> Oh, so there was a little, a little on the floor, and, you know, on the oh, so the some went on the floor. Yes, man. Okay. On the floor. But it's understandable considering the circumstances under yeah. which the highly yeah, stressed. No, no. I know he couldn't get upset with me now because I peed on the floor. You know. So he said uh. to me, no, don't, don't worry about that, man. I'll take care of that. So wait, so right in front of him, he does full up the part of this repeat. Yes, I had to let you go right there. Right, right. Said, okay, okay. So what you do with the content when you're done now? How you have it in your hand now? What you do? No, man, I didn't hold it in my hand. It was the same place there on the floor. I right, right. So All I wanted get... to do was relieve myself. Okay, man. No, that is not the greatest part of the story. Yes, yes, tell me. This is the greater part of the story. Yeah, yeah. We thought the girl was gone. Uh -huh. And so I was deciding now that I'm going to hurry and get myself dressed and get out of that place. Uh-huh. 
Shortly after that, I hear banging on the window outside. E e and the girl was tearing off the window to come in here. I know. Good Lord. I know you have a little dirty sketchel gal in there. What? And I want to see that little dirty sketchel. <laughs> I go, no, I know that it was a whole tag rag out there. Ah! I know that she wanted to come in to tear me to pieces. Uh -huh. Rago, you see when I see the girl pop out one of the Louvre window, I bolt underneath the bed. Ah! I don't want to ah! 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 <laughs> so to meet somebody that know my father and tell my father about the happening. Okay. And my father was a prominent man. Okay, so okay. I didn't want, you know, the scandal and the Right, disgrace. right, 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 right. You understand? Because eh. at the time, my mother had invited and uh, introduced me to this guy from New York and we were to be married. But of course, you know, I didn't love him or anything like that. Right, and right. And here came this nice looking guy. And, right, you know, right. little thing happened here and there. And right, right, right. And so I... I bolt under the bed so fast uh -huh. because I was hiding my face. Anyways, I don't know what happened, but she went away. Mm -hmm. It seems as if his brother, you know, helped to get her away. Okay. Raga, I thought the girl was gone now because now it was about midday. Uh -huh. So, we so got only in the old man in there? Yes. Raga. And you said she didn't come early. She... Well, on. when she started beat the, the, the thing, it was early in the morning, though. Yes. In the morning, about minutes to six, thereabouts. So, and this old idea go right down till yes, about midday, the twelve o'clock. Out there, and the gardener was out there. You know, they were trying to restrain her and stuff. Oh, he and has a gardener too. Yes. Okay. So when she when she broke out the window, uh, um, at the time he lived off Kenwood Kenwood Crescent or something like that, off Constant Spring Road. Uh huh. And I was living at Lady Musgrave Road. Uh huh. And so here he, she was now breaking on the window, so I guess the gardener and the brother restrained her and took her away. Right, right. I right. thought she was gone. Raga, I packed my things so fast. It was about midday, mm -hmm. and I said I was trying to escape this house. Raga, when I went out to the gate, uh -huh. what can I tell you? This girl just broke around the gate on me, and she just grabbed me up, and she said, Girl, are you in there with my man? I said, Raga, uh -huh. the man couldn't even control her. Uh -huh. He was there trying to pull her off me, and I was there trying to get away from her. The only thing I could do was grab on in her at that time, Jerry Curls. You know, the curly look here. So I thought it was her here, so I grabbed on in it. You I grabbed on in it, Raga. All of the hair come out in my oh, hand. Why? Why? So we had a ball and left and so we she a wear a wig and the wig is a jerry curl wig. Yes, it's I have right. never heard of a jerry curl wig. And I said, Raga, when she was there grabbing me up and thing, the most I could do is just grab on in her head. Uh -huh. And when I grab on in the head, all the hair came off in my hand. Uh -huh. And she tore off my blouse and I tore off her skirt. So we and are, well, uh, she dry out, man, because you're not the fighter type of woman. No, but I... But when she put it on for you and I tear off your blouse, she just tear off that blouse to doubt it. And here you was now in the middle. Well, on, well, on, what, did some skirt tear off? Yes, I tore off her skirt. You tear off your skirt? Yes, then when you tear off your skirt, what was revealing? <laughs> Raga, everything was revealing. I went and watch it. But I cannot So we are so the fight, I go on, they say, I know, close a tear off, ear a tear off, I'm whole drama. Yes, so what are you doing at the wall of this, you know? Wait, no, Raga, uh -uh. people were just starting to pull curtains, and you know how these people say they don't want to run out and look at anything, you know. Right. So they started pulling curtains. No, and, well, particularly you know. in those settings, you know. Yes, and well, if it was in ghetto, everybody pull up right there looking out of here. looking out and stuff mm. like that, and Raga, I was so embarrassed. But and he was, and he's try I don't know, he's there trying to tell her that things are going to be okay and whatever, and he was there telling me not to worry about anything. And I said, Raga, you see, when I stood there in the embarrassment, and I looked at all that was happening. Yes. I just slapped him in his face. You can't! Watch out! Watch out! I just slapped him in his face. You so I weird. Face when you see like the whole of them a drama, you reach and oh cross you. Me. And, and I, I lie him, did I tell you? You just clapped him a box in his face, yeah, don't you? I landed him a box in his face, you see? Eh, yeah, I saw what he got. Yeah, go ahead. And when I hit him in his face, I don't know, maybe she got the fever too. And she slapped him in his face. Ah! And rather, can I tell you that both of us gave him a proper beat? <laughs> <laughs> both of us gave him a proper beating at his gate. Yes, and when yes. we were done with him, <coughs> 
I had to explain to her, I said, listen, love, this gentleman told me that he was not involved with anybody. Uh-huh. And she said, he's a lying bastard because I have two sons for him. Uh-huh. And da, 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 and, you know, she went on to tell me the story. But, Raga, that was the most embarrassing mix-up story that ever happened to me. My and Lord. And when I heard you on the radio this morning saying uptown people have their bangarams too, I had to call in and tell you about no, it. No, well, I appreciate that you do because very unfortunately I have people who talk as if, you know, it's only working class and get the people who are involved in and all these things and whatever and they, and well they, most of them people are really call my show so we, i really appreciate you you know calling and, and I, I love your program you just keep doing it just the way you do it why thank you so much darling i'm so happy that my friend introduced me to the program i can't miss it i just can't miss it wonderful wonderful I guess my only regret sir is that after the news at 12 i wish you would come on you know after one and continue with the program because believe me it's good okay thank you so well, much you take care of I, listen, and you I, am so happy, I am so happy i am so so happy you survived that ordeal, considering the unprecedented actions you had to undertake in order to extricate yourself from that volatile situation. <laughs> you take care. Okay, you take care. Right. No, no one the pepper man. She said it to her. She said it to her them. The two of them give him a proper beating out the way. No, no one the hot like whoa. Yeah, man, we call that the Uptown Mix of, well, <laughs> well, I don't know who dubbed it that name, but, um, a data rinse from the road, the whole I wanna love it like, wow. So we had to play it back, um, today, for a mix up and blend a fun Friday and things, see. <laughs> No, it's still half real calm. Just listen, yeah, listen back on the wall and read that studio, you're dead. I'm dead with laugh, I think. You know, so that's why I say big respect to that caller there for calling and um, <coughs> relate um, that um, ordeal that she went through so that we can get, you know, I look a vibe out of it, I think. Rock foot, my drop on people, I talk about the uptown mix up. Spanish town. People depend on the uptown mix up. New Kingston. People are talking about the uptown mix up. Downtown, man. Southside. People depend on the uptown mix up. Manly Meadows. Uptown mix up. I'll be a things. All right, here's the plan. We're going to look at break right now. When we come back, we're going to go to the phone lines and then, you know, open up the phone lines for your call and tell we are, uh, what is it, uh, what are the biggest mix up you know about, you know, the biggest precker you know about. And just to remind you, Simone, is you, man? Nah, Flo, you know. Is you, man. What did I do? What? No, I'm not here, what she Eh? Eh? What did I do? No, but I do, you come in, just your presence and your aura and the energy where you let off, you know, it just can't feel. Yeah, it's not powerful. <laughs> you have it like that. Blah! <laughs> you know, some people create it, some people force it, some people don't have it. Some you born with it. Yeah, cool, <laughs> na baby. <laughs> Yo, I want to bring Simone and Karin to news right now. When we come back, we'll just prop up the call and we don't see him soon forward. Welcome back to Raga Shanti Live with your host, Miss Cherry Wash Belly, Dr. Raga Shanti. Yeah, man, welcome back up in our Zen Thing, seeing the real Jamaican Zen Thing. With me, Mr. Washbelly, Mr. Mix Up and Blend himself, Raga Shanti. Blessings and respect to all of my family, and my uptown family, and my downtown family, all of my God people, and my church people, and East Queen Street Baptist Church, all revival people, and I don't know what the thing set up yet. Yeah? What was that? What is the biggest breaker ever in you know? What is the biggest mix up and blender ever in you know? a scene where you call in and rinse it out until 10 30 when we do a feature chat to the artist with Nadine Willis? And then, of course, at 11 o'clock, we go back to the phone lines and for the remainder of the program scene. Big up all high school competing in champs. Stets, St. Elizabeth family, large up scene. Everything is everything. Calabar, GSC, Campadon, the whole nine, all mode. Yeah? Bam, bam! <laughs> Love that rhythm, yeah. I 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 love that rhythm, yeah. All right, root, and it to them, and it to them, root. Sonica can dance like you, better than Sonica, don't. Sonica can dance better than you. What that? Equal? Whatever, whatever. But that's a sign of a good friend, you know. Yeah, man, I uh, could read off some of them emails about what they download from yesterday. Raga, you are a godsend. Thank you for making my day every day. My days are filled with laughter. Continue doing the good work. Blessings continually. Enough love from Angela. Next call right here now. Boom, bang. Hello. Greetings. 
Hi, Raga. Yo, yo. How you doing? They are give thanks, you know. They, they not make you laugh, so just... Ooh, hear them boys say laugh, there. Leave a laugh. I love, myself, I love them look at chocolate. Do it again, do it again. Yes, yes. Wait, wait, do it, do it higher now. Do it higher now. Good. Yes, yes. That is so sweet. It's not a puppy show. And if you were a puppy show, you want a sexiest puppy show there. Okay. Okay. Yes, this is faithful again. Wait, are you? <laughs> oh, yeah, but the laughy. Okay. So, why are you faithful? Uh, nothing much. Everything is everything. Yes, I have a mix up to give you. Proper, it's rinse it out for you. Yes. Um, this was with one of my sister's friends. Yeah. Um, she had a um, boyfriend, but him always a cheat on her and so. Yeah. So one Friday there was a... Really? A Jamaican man? A girl woman born? Shocking. Yes, anyway, go on. <laughs> <laughs> so, one Friday now, I'm supposed to go to, um, Carib. Yeah. So, she sent me for call and, you know, trick him up, give him, and prank him. Uh-huh. You know, so, my call and, like, he's a wrong number, so I say. Hello, good night. Can I speak to Patrick? So, he <laughs> said, no, Patrick is not here, but Bruce is here. That's just a name. Right. But Bruce is here. Right. Oh, you just make it up. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, All right. So, my name said, um, so what's your name? I like your voice. I'm my name that you talk on the phone, you know, mm-hmm. for about two days. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so, he might have to go to Carib. On the, the Friday. Right. I called him about the Wednesday or so. Right. And um, the night now, she, it, me tell him, say, I want to see him Friday because I can't see him no other day but Friday. Right. So I remember that him and him girlfriend were supposed to go out. Okay. So, anyway, she cut them body tickets and everything already, you know. Right. And um, she said, um, him call her and said, mm, Diane. All of a sudden, it says, like, me eat something at work today, and it's an attack my belly. Eh. I have a piece of vomiting and diarrhea. Eh. Yeah, so, anyways, no, him call me back now, because he never did know my number. So, him call me back on my phone and tell me, say, what time I want to meet him, so I tell him about Hold on, you say him never did know your number? No. But oh, him for call you back if him don't know no, you. No, no, man. Him, all right. No, I said him. Remember, you know, him know me, but him never have my landline number. Okay. Right. He right. Him know my real name and everything. Him don't know say me. I trick him up. So I gave him my home number to call me back. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. So, anyways, him call me back and says seven o'clock now. Him will meet me um out of the mall. Mm-hmm. So anyways, me, my sister, and him girlfriend go out there. Mm, talk you looking faster. Talk you mm-hmm. looking, yeah. Me, my sister, and him girlfriend go out there. When we go out there, and him see her, him make one run, <laughs> and she eat up some breed of stone off of him, you know. <laughs> and she said, with her tired the suit, him never wear that suit before. I want a new suit him wear. Wow. Yes, and that bonner, can I wear a new suit? Yes, for, for, so Emma said, she ball out and said, Bruce, now you say I have vomiting and diarrhea. And she just starts saying on certain couple yes, of stones upon him well. Yes, some stone off him years <laughs> ago. That, that time I was very young. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll yes, have a job at it. All right. Yes, so take care. Yeah, my respect for that one there. You're faithful. Eh? In my September, September man too. Anyway. But, that, but that is so different because September, man. Yeah, hence is September. I am mm-hmm. September. And yeah, hence we're good behaving men, aren't you? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully. I'm an angel. I'm an yes, angel. Yes, so take care. All right. Mm-hmm. Bless up here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I can read that email I was download from yesterday. Good morning. I'm talking, Raga, I'm talking to this guy and him always tell me how him love me and adore me. So me as a woman love hear them things and believe him. It so happened that he asked me for a call and I gave it to him. He was there talking talking as if it was business or it was one of his friends he was talking to. I did not take it as anything at first till Tuesday of this week when I overheard him telling someone that his baby mother, not me, was out of the island, which is a lie, and that she was not coming back to Jamaica. He even went on to say that him now wait no more. Him need to get her like now. Uh, oh, him like how oh, she shape on him. 
Raga, I not even hear nothing else. The way I'm vexed. I just make a U turn and head for my yard. Then now, I don't call him for some time, but him did owe me some. Did owe me some? I just text. I just text him and tell him, say, me need my money or oh, some money. I did not let him know that I overheard him. But after he gave me my money, then is, that is when I told him he's a liar and a thief and him for stop going and turn woman in a fool. Not me, though. Sorry for him, baby mother, though, because she's still here and him do her like that. Imagine who else get caught like myself. He must stop it. Big up yourself, Raga. Tell the phone lines to go top of the morning to you. Hello. Hello. <coughs> Greetings. Good morning, Raga. Good morning. How you doing? They are give thanks, you know. The up -so the mix up with yeah. the uptown girl, trust me, it's overloaded. You see. Anyway, I have a little one to give you about myself. All right, there's some noise in the background. Could you move away from it, please? You still hearing the noise? Yes. Yeah. Please. See quickly, me? Quickly. Is the neighbor them radio? I can't tell him to turn it down. I neighbor them radio. Yeah. All right, then. Just move her from it. Yeah, yeah, my rinse. You still hearing the noise? Yeah, but rinse, rinse, rinse. Okay, I didn't have this friend, you see? Yeah. We were a close friend, you know. Uh -huh. And everybody is always telling me that she loves like people, man. But you know, me never really believe it. Yeah. But not for because she should look good and them way they wear them, the NVR. Yeah. But anyway, me and I become closer and closer. So yeah. I didn't have this. I used to talk to this guy whenever they really tick tick. But you know, we like just meet and we are talk. Yeah. So I used to go by him house because spend a weekend with him. Right. So one day, I asked her if she wanted to come along with me. I seen we so close. And Raga, when we went to the guy's house, uh -huh. and, you know, nightfall and it was time to sleep. So right. we're, three of us were sleeping on the bed. He was in the middle, she was at the front, and I was at the back. Well, yeah. well, I mean, I know her front. If the three are on the bed, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he was in the middle, and the two lady, the, I was at the end. She was oh, the okay, both. On the bed. Okay, okay, all right. So, anyway, rug guy. So, you the, know wait, was, so this uh, is your friend, and the wall are not sleeping in, in, in your boyfriend because bed? Because I went to his house. Okay, okay. So, you know. And, and, I, and I want to look a bit over there and think. I don't want to look a bit, the bed big. Okay, okay, all right, <laughs> all, right all right, then, oh, 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 yeah. Go on, yeah. So, anyway, we're on the bed sleeping, and I was pretty like I was sleeping because. The mirror is what you know, them start talking so quick and I never really take it personal, Raga. Right. But anyway, it's so hot that the two of them start start out, Raga. Oh, 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 careful, yeah. But I wasn't going to say anything too bad. I know, I know, but, um, but what do you mean? In the bed there with you? Yes, I thought I was sleeping, Raga. Oh, 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 okay. No matter when, in shop, put on like a faster than soca. Okay, 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 all so right. So anyway, I never said nothing to her, but I didn't know that she didn't know this guy that they like her. Uh-huh. No, like me, at least. But because I was talking to somebody else, yeah. he never really wanted to, you know, push yeah, up too much yeah, on yeah, me. Yeah, 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 But anyway, yeah. I introduced her to the guy, same name was X. Yeah. And she was K. Yeah. So X and K become friend now, which the guy still talk to her because he still want to get closer to me. Uh huh. So one day I said to her, I say, I never asked her about the starting now with me and my, with her, my man. Mm hmm. You get with me? Right, right, me understand. Uh huh. So anyway, no, Raga, I said to her, I say, you and X still talk. She say, yes. So I say, all right then, we're going to go for X O's. Because Raga, I decide, so I'm going to do it back to her, you know. Okay. I'm not the type of person to take my people, man, to oh. take my friend and man. But Raga should really hurt So when you say like leave. your friend take your man, so you want to take back your friend, man? No, she and the guy never really get involved on the guy like me, but because me not talk with somebody else. Him kind of ease off. Yeah. And then but she and him go get involved now. Hmm? And then she and him go get involved now. Who? The one where they like really you. really like her. I'm still never talk to her because he want to get close to me. Okay. So anyway, you know, Raga, after it all happened now, one day we'll call the guy that's an ex and say, me and Kia come over your house. Right. I went over him house, and I, I wear the short shorts now. I make sure I look nice and everything, you know. Uh -huh. And me and I will go by the house. So with daddy and him just come out of the shower and him daddy sit down on the sofa. Yeah. So I was there and I stand up and I saw the place feel hotty. I make sure I lock the door in the raga. Uh -huh. I just start to cover my clothes, raga. I never mean to do that to her, but the way she hurt me, raga. And I just sat him out right in front of her face back. Well, on. What? You see, yes. Of course, I did it. So you take off your clothes right in front of the two of them. Yes, and I did her the guy that she liked uh, instead of a, in right in front of her face. But what was she doing when she see you like? She a, couldn't believe, Raga. Was she just a shock? 
Yes, and she could look come out because I make sure I lock the door. And after everything over, she start cuss. I'm going to say, you remember you that sort out my man when you think me did asleep? Uh. Well, I'm playing back the game on you. I'm not going to take your man when you are asleep. I'll take him. All right. All right, then. Um, that, that, that one was okay, but, you know, we just never want to get in any trouble with it. So, are you beat her up? It wasn't any trouble. I wasn't going to say anything too bad. No, no, anymore. man. I know, I know, I know, I know. No, you never said nothing about it, no. We just uh, try, you know, kind of keep it on a certain level. But what I say is this. So, you beat her after you do that. I like me to tell me I say. So, I'm telling you that I start out M. All so, right. them things that me did asleep. So, you know, them did that. All right. So, you get your revenge. Yes. All right, then. All right, but you're not talk now still? Talk about what, girl? I cut off woman friend and also them not good. Oh, you cut off woman friend? Yeah, no, ho. I'm not deal with woman again. Okay, okay, okay. Because everybody's always talking about her, but me never do really, you know? Right, right, believe, right. But right. you should do me that. Okay, but okay. All right. Well, I'm glad you're all a stranger now and I move forward. See you, man. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, man. Blessings and respect, man. Um... I want to say big up to Nadia from Central Village. Nadia from Central Village. Um, you know, people say for big you up. Again, Nadia from Central Village and thing. Um, IT and the whole massive say for big you up and thing. Everything is everything. Okay, I could just read that email. Okay, I could read that email. Raga, I know this guy, he was sorting out another man's woman. Anyway, the man come home and the woman put the man under the bed. She had a pan of water by the room because she was going to wash. Anyway, the woman do the more than take jaw grinds clothes and just put all of them in the wash pan. And the man under the bed naked as a day in barn. So when a man came in, he found his wife sweating and washing, doing some hard day's work. Well, the woman's man just went home to get something he forgot. The big man left and as far and as for Joe, let's just say he was very wet. On a dry day in more ways than one. Big up Raga, full joy your program daily. DK, your voice does wonders for me. You hear that line that DK, your voice does wonders for me. DK the woman, I love you. You guys need pictures on all your websites so I can feel more personable with you all. Keep up the good work. Here we go, top of the morning to you. Hello. Raga, what go on? They are, they are, they are, they are on the goalie side, I give Call thanks. Call the teller and say the call from uptown in Salaam. Mad, no? It's a go on, Mr. Raga, my grandmother, 80, and you will have a wish she pop up in <laughs> the hole. <laughs> you see, well, we're, glad, we're glad your grandmother can't jive, because well, that's what it's about, entertainment. I Listen, I need a bad room, I listen, she don't fear room, I listen, I'm with my pants, I'm so tall, yeah, my granddad, I don't say if I knew you care that, I say your mean mama. I thought your grandmother said, yeah, my granddad, I know if I didn't you, I know you don't kill that. I thought you don't say a craft, they're weird. For real, for real, for real, for real. No, but that mix up, I know, the way she talk, I know, she get in at it, and it's yeah, and that make it nice to you though. Know? I say it bad man, it bad me say that nothing else could have made me day, man. <laughs> nothing else, me not pain right now, but me I tell her say it could be like the pain, God, my laugh till my week. You see What's it? the old man say she want pain? <laughs> <laughs> the man says you have to drop you. The man says you have to go use this, you know. You have to go and do it in this, you know. You know the sweet part? Yeah. When the two of them turn on now. I know that I'm going to sweet to the woman, man. I <laughs> know I'm going to love that part, the man. Yeah, when the two of them turn on, I start beating him down. Eh? I love when the woman them beat the man. <laughs> <laughs> But you don't love when man beat woman. No, that not fair. Um, that so, not oh, you going to laugh when woman beat man, but you're not going to vex when man. But, oh, you going to vex when man beat woman, but you're going to laugh when woman beat man. I don't understand. No, man, not beat no man to hurt them. I, like I joke you can't make, man. I joke. The phone not on heavy. I don't well, know if you fling things on them, something there. What are you talking like about? Call me no raga, my aunt lick a bit. Eh, your aunt lick a bit, but yeah. we don't know you know if you swing it. 
Me we swing it, yes, but right now we can't two two swing cause one of them broke. Okay, Osha, Osha, yeah. put But me love when the woman them beat them and them. All so right then. I to make them run the fall them shoes. All right then. So <laughs> rather want to big up my grandmother. Yeah, what's your name? Miss Delcy. Miss Delcy. Yeah. From where? From where? Central Village, Russell Avenue in a Central Village. All right, them proper thing here. Yeah, I want to yell up the whole of the Flankers, man, them. All right. Yeah. Oh, a Flanka. Flankers in a Central Village. Oh, oh, see, them see. keep the peace. All right, and I saw we love it, you and know. I saw we want it. Proper thing here. Yeah. Proper thing. All right, Raga. Manners. Yeah. Yeah, we want to big up to Radine Hall in Castleton in St. Mary. Enough respect to Radine Hall and, thing, and to Jaive and Raive. Um, sons Jaive and Raive. Coming from Chase, the DJ scene. Um, again, big up to Radine Hall, Jaive and Raive. From the man in other family, Chase, the DJ. Here we go, top of the morning to you. Hello. Hello. Greetings. Good morning. Good morning. Raga. Yeah. You know, so when you're when you in Bella, you're supposed to have the team of car, Bella, you know. Uh -huh. And tell him, say, the Monday morning, yeah. I will come apologize and hear because I know him can't do you. Yes, it. Yeah, but anyway, I'm going to mix up. This is where I'm at my 20s. Yeah. We usually talk to this guy. One of my friends introduced me to this guy. We usually work in a real theater. Yeah. But you have this girl who will kill her baby father. Hold on, hold on. Tell me something. Is that Carlos phone in the pan? Yeah. Go nearer to the base, yeah? Okay. All right, yeah. They have this girl who usually talk to. Yeah. Me say she did kill her baby father. Or the girl kill her baby father, mm -hmm. him attack to her. Yeah, but him and her the stop talk. Uh -huh. So this <coughs> guy now, where uh, him dumb, he usually put up whatever show or show a realtor. Yeah. We usually call him dummy. You're right. One night began a show, man, me and, me and the guy. Him there abroad now still. Yeah. And you don't know, so the dumb man, the girl, come, come the weekend. But me leave my house, I'm living in a bull bean. I leave my house, I'm going to come and spend. After I watch show, yeah. I pull out with my boyfriend. Yeah. The dumb man I do not more than show the girl, Miraga. Uh -huh. Yeah, so she come to me and I say, she is a mother with my arm, man. So I say, which man that? So it happened that the night now. When time to go home, yeah. I live nearby real. So. Yeah. Three away the night. But scared, I scared, I scared, I scared, but what happened now, me, can't you know, but I got bullied because then time the bus is all run bad. Yeah. So, me decided to me now go because him tell me, say, man, or, you hear know nothing. Right, right. So, the night now, him decided to go, she has to see her country, she come from too. Right. So, it happened that me, the one side of the bed, him not the middle, but me have my knife in the car, so I'll be here about her. I yeah. have to walk with my little thing. So you have your knife? Mm hmm A ratchet or just knife? Just have a ordinary knife. Right, yeah. So, him not the middle. Me there one hand and she there one hand. Uh -huh. But for the night, we got for the whole night. And it's so good, I can't sleep. You couldn't sleep. Told me here what she done already. Uh -huh. So the him. But let me tell you something. Now I'm an idiot now. Mm -hmm. You think you can't in that position and I'm going to talk about you asleep between the two women. And them. You can work him now, sir. And I can't the drop on the two of them. And you me. Look, if that not happen. Because the two of them could have just get all a little heat in the night there and just give it to him. Yeah, it's when you feel uh, like him, him put him on cross where me you know, should drag it back over. Oh, yeah. But it happened that the morning you now. Yeah. When Quick, like, we only have a minute left yeah, here. Yeah, like me do that in the hour. Yeah. But when me wake up now, she the leave. But it's something that me just stop talking because not never did so. Okay, Zane. Yeah. Zane. But anyway, so but you come out tight nice though. Yeah, I'm come out tight. All right. <laughs> All right. Bless Thank up you. here. All right, Roger. We can hold a break. We'll soon forward. Welcome back to Ragashanti Live with your host, Miss Cherry Wash Belly, Dr. Ragashanti. All right, to the phone lines we go. Top of the morning to you. Hello. Hello, good morning. Greetings. Raga, it's the first time on your program. Welcome to the family. I want to tell you for your program, Sela. All right, <laughs> blessings and respect for that, dear. Raga, me have one mix up to you. Senator. <laughs> Raga, yeah. me have this friend, you see? Yeah. We go to school together. Yeah. So when she was in her early teen now, yeah. she have this boyfriend where she had date, but the boyfriend having lady. Okay. So it happened that say, them dating and one night him invite her to the movie. Yeah. But she have her own little apartment, you know. Yeah. And him live further down. Yeah. 
in a different district. Okay, okay. So okay. after they leave the movie you now, him said to her, say, yeah, come home with me tonight. Uh-huh. So she say, so what happened to your girlfriend? Uh-huh. So I hear him. She gone go and spend time with her mother. Uh-huh. She gone have the place for two days straight. Okay, I know. Uh-huh. You want to hear her say, I walk in distance to the, from the girlfriend house to the mother house. Okay. So, anyway, she said, no, I'm not come home with you, you know. Mm-hmm. He said, yes, man, I come home with me tonight, man. Everything's safe. Me have it bang. Top. Right. Anyway, she said, all right then. Anyway, she's him send her first to so, uh, go down to his house. Right. And on her way going down the house, she see the girlfriend's sister sitting on a wall. Uh-huh. The girlfriend's sister know her. I know say she there with the girlfriend. So we the girlfriend's sister know say she there with her sister man. Yes. All right. With her uh-huh. sister man. Right. So anyway, she walked past go down, you know. Uh-huh. It looked like shortly after a while the girlfriend sitting on the wall, she see the man I go down. The girlfriend sister see the man I go down the yes, door. I know say her sister, the home the run a fear, the run her mother. Run her mother, uh-huh. Yes. Anyway, she passed first, then the man passed after. Uh-huh. So it looked like so the sister run grown a fear yard. Uh-huh. Go tell the sister, say, like she would have said, Mrs. Charlene gone down. And after all, Mrs. Roy gone too. Uh-huh. Anyway, the, my friend and the girl now, and our man now, end up down at the house. Uh-huh. So then things so they have the place for themselves. Yeah. So they're ready to go do their starting out. Right. She then did they um, drink them champagne or whatever they have to drink. Uh-huh. And she must take off her clothes on going in her brazier and sleep. All right, careful now, yeah? Yeah. All right. Uh-huh. Just as she about to do the sati you now, no. Right. She hear bum 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 on the door. Uh-huh. I want to come one room place, you know. Uh-huh. A raga. She say, My girl, all me want to tell her say, me no know where to do cause a one room and she no know where to run. She no have no way to hide. The only little place where she could have think of to go hide her under the bed. <laughs> and if she go under the bed and get trapped under the bed, hell broke loose. That's right. <laughs> so the little one room have one window. <laughs> so she say, when she look through the window and down the gully side, she would have jump. Uh-huh. She would have get a dead and a broken or a broke foot or something. Cut the window the right over one gully. Over one gully. Uh-huh. So she said the girlfriend out there and he knock, who the door? Open the door. Mm-hmm. You better open the door. Mm-hmm. The man up in the room and know where she do raga. Mm-hmm. Mr. Raga, she said no. She is also freeze that not even her sack she couldn't find to put on back. Mm-hmm. So she in the slip on brazier. Mm-hmm. The man look like him more afraid of the woman more than anything raga. Mm-hmm. So she say finally the man open the door. When the man open the door, he stand up at the door we are bar our out. And my friend in the bed. Sit down, spin around, no know what to do, can't find the frack because she's so confused. <laughs> <laughs> Raga, <laughs> she said, anyway, the man like a half of the, half of the doorway and the woman come in, stand up over the friend, the friend lay down, see him, we don't know what to do. No, she wala, 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 no. She attacked the woman, man, and yes. the woman bust in, and she's still in at the bed, lay down. In at the bed, lay down, and she don't know what to do. Oh, she feel lay down, then oh, she feel in at the bed, she not at least stand up her face, no. wait, go on, talk, go on, talk, go on. She couldn't, she don't know what to do, she don't know where her front is, she in a brazier, I should do, I have the sheet and her arm cover up over titty and body. Okay, okay. And freeze, lay down, they don't know what to do, because apparently, maybe she don't want to get up for the, for the woman, because she say, she in a sleep and brazier. Okay, so she still cover up. Yeah. So, so, so what happened after, man, yeah, quick, quickly, what happened after that? The man hold on the, 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 the theme woman hand now, and the woman walk up to the bed and say, where are they? How are you? She frightened, I don't know what she say, you know what she say? You can't ask me that. Ask your man where me do ya. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, right, the answer where she go be, the friend jump and make a lick. Uh, and she duck and run out. And when she run out, she remember say she in a brazier and sleep. She say, bring me sack. Bring me sack. <laughs> So we had, well, lad, he grab out the frock and I run back. He run in a theme hand up and back as she in her brazier and sleep. 
When the woman take a lick off her, because the woman threw her blow, she sighted. Yes. And then, but when she run out now, she realized she's in her... She in her brazier and slip. And then she start ball out, she bring me frack, bring me frack. So the man now, he grab up her frack and I run. And And I run. The two of them, the woman are running her brazier and slip. Him are running at the underpants with the frack and flash two sides. And then, and then, and then the woman who him there. I, t- I throw some them big stone road. off of them. Eh? Yes. So no, tell, no, well, I don't tell we road. I which area? I which area? <laughs> eh? I which, just tell we area. Just see area. Bone Brook, Light, light, light House Road. Where that? Bone Brook. Bone Brook, Light House yes, Road. Where that? Which bar is that? Which bar? Portland. Portland, okay, mm-hmm. all right, okay. So she ran out in a, in a, in a, in a brazier and slip. Yes. And a ball out, bring me frack. Bring me frack, bring me frack. He may run out with the frack in a feet and, and a pan. And in a, and a pan. And then the woman back of them, a, 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 a cloth some stone, stone, stone half of them, half yes. of them. Boy, I don't just pay for that, you know. I don't pay for see that any day. I don't pay for see that any day. All I want is my little video phone. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, and, yo, when she had give me the joke, you know, uh, me say me pop up, me roll, me no know what if you do me a butterfly and me got come, me couldn't stop laugh. Why then I must laugh, man? Me but anyway, respect just, for that one day, yeah. Raga. Yeah, man, but respect for that one day, yeah. Yes, Raga. All right, you take care, you know. All right. All right, well, we'll have break, people. We're so far. Welcome back to Raga Shanty Live with your host, Miss Cherry Wash Belly, Dr. Raga Shanty. Yeah, man, welcome back up in our scene. Bounce it, Lord. Well, your yeah, hands, your yeah, hands. Take it out, take it out, take it out. Welcome back up in our scene thing, yeah. The real, the real Jamaican scene thing. The number one entertainment talk show, for real. With me, Mr. Mix Up and Blender himself. Mr. Washbelly, Raga Shanti. Blessings to all who are listening. I just want enough respect to the whole who are listening to the show. And I have a friend them tune in on the show. Because the crazy people are listening to the show. And I want to make it successful. So I just want to say a big thank you to the whole and Next email, Raga. I don't know what's happening to me. Two days ago, I saw my ex-boyfriend, whom I had not seen in over two years, and all sort of feelings came rushing back. I can't stop thinking about him. Up until a few days ago, everything was okay. You know, that out of sight, out of mind thing. But since seeing him, I am going crazy. I am married, and worse, I am a Christian. And I know that I am sinning because I am lusting. I keep thinking about the things we did in the past and even things I would love to happen now. I must confess, I cannot even make love to my husband. I hope God can forgive me and please don't play any more love songs in the mornings. I cannot manage that right now. Please pray for me so that I can overcome these feelings. To the phone lines, we go top of the morning. What is the biggest mix-up you know about the biggest Ray Ray? Hello. Um, Raga, I don't know this situation that I've got myself in. And to uh. I am a student of the university, but for this session, we're going to give it to you in a patois. All right, yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right, Raga, yeah. yeah, I tell you, we did have my man. Yeah. Good, good man. Yeah. Right, but we just uh, have little problems. Zane? Now, me now go make the mistake and left him. Uh. Maybe I talk to this little policeman. You understand? I'm a bridging. Yeah. They have him as a bridging. Me and him talk and thing. Yeah. So later down in the year now, me and him actually there. Right. This are the policeman. Yeah, man. Raga. So you yes. left, you left your good, good man and got there with the policeman, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. We are telling Raga the biggest mistake that I ever Why? Made why? Why? Life. Why? 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 Raga, because I tell you, say, him as a friend, good. Right. But for have him as a man, totally wrong. The man do everything that is wrong. Like what so? Like what so? Raga, me I tell you, say, him all a, him all a call, make him friend them call me. Any little thing go on between me and him, no little argument or so. Yeah. You know, him I go to him friend them. 
Where you, you, where you mean? Where, if any little thing go down between you and him, him go talk yeah, to him man, friend. Yeah, man, him go talk to him friend. My friend, him call me and ask me about it and beer, something, something. Like, no, but, but on one level, that that sound like, uh, I don't know, not unusual. But on another level, it can be something weird if him just run, go so, 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 so to him friend. Him. But when like me I say, I give, give me a better you. sense. Like, like what? Give me an example. Like, like. Give me one big baby. Am I be a bit? Oh, oh, so like what? Oh, I'm be a bit of the thing. Let me tell you, said sometimes me and him, it not for reach no argument. Me say something to him. Yeah. Yes, what me I say, and him just take it out of proportion. I'm go tell him friend them this and that and real. But to all him friend them call me, and them go on both them. I say, oh yeah, go on like you want take the man for fool. So I re 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 re. No, well, I'm not understand why if you and him there, fine, him a friend. People yeah. are friends who they talk to. Yeah. You and them move like that. Oh, them I call you no, all the while I talk to you. Move like that. you but oh, them I call you I talk to you about you and your man business. Because oh, oh, him oh, him have that. Tell them and him give them a number. Him call me off of them phone and them store the number and be or something, something. Hold on. You and your man have a look of drama. Anybody yeah. in a relationship have an ups and downs, and things. Yeah. And yes, every time. It's a regular thing, yes, regular eh? Regular thing. Where anytime you and him have some him go to him friend them go chat about it yes Raga. and then allow them and encourage them to call you and chat to you about it yes Raga. a boy thing them yes what so me i say boy thing them boy thing them anyway, that does sound no. proper to me if i saw it going if i saw you say it go it does sound proper to me yeah anyway no. yeah it reached a point where me just couldn't deal with it no more yeah you understand so me left him yeah him call me, him call me, him call me till him all start move like him all stalk me. Yeah. Everywhere me go. But you see when me and him did the raga? Yeah. Him no want me. Him no want me have no friend. It's what me I say. Uh-huh. Me could go no way. Uh-huh. Other than when me, him and same friend, them go out. Uh-huh. You understand? So. Yeah, be careful of them there. Yeah, go on. Yeah, man. Uh-huh. So mm. him there and him call me back and tell me how much him love me and him go kill me and kill himself and beer things. You understand? And it's a police that said this to Yeah, too. man. Uh-huh. So I go to him, superintendent. You understand? I so talk to him right. and beer things. So we kind of get it under control. Yeah. Yeah, me tell you, I go and bunks. I go through, I do my thing. You understand? Me yeah. Like yeah. Until him just start bothering me. Him there, they are pressure me, are pressure me, are pressure me to come back come there with him and beer things. Right. Isn't it? Yeah. So, we didn't know, and me and him actually dead back. Me and him actually dead back. Uh-huh. Think this is uh, almost a year after. Uh-huh. So, me say, Karaga, I tell you the truth. I love him. I really and truly love this him. This police here, sir? Yeah, man. Okay, so you and him dead back, you know? No, not right now. We left again. Okay. So, me say, Raga, and why you not know left again? Because of the same little thing that we are going on. Okay. The same little thing that we used to go on. Are you happy when you're with him? Sometimes. No. Are you happy most of the time? Are you relaxed and happy and comfortable? With him? Yeah. Most, most of, the of the time. When, time. Most of the time when you're with most him. Most of the time. Then the difference is where you and him have is things that can't work out, you think? No, Raga. It can't work out because instead of it, I get better, it just I get All right. Worse. Can you remain in a relationship with him if those, <laughs> if you're fully convinced of them things and now get better? What, is, what was that, Raga? Can you survive and be comfortable in a relationship with him knowing that those things will never get better no raga okay so you and you just answer you want a question and yeah, any queries we have so you saw me answer, raga, the second time no me and him the auntie yeah tell you me i go to school auntie we have this journal for right right so him give me him uh, me tell him to me i go buy the journal auntie yeah yeah i tell you i'm not frightened for your money come have my own yeah you understand so yeah him did it and well, him tell him give me five hundred dollars and tell me for buy the journal. Uh-huh. Knowing how him stay now. Well me buy the journal and I have the receipt and things so I'm show him the receipt and beer things. Him talk me where my show me where my, where my show me that for. Anyway, you know. Him there work. Them send him away for a little time. Yes, talk a little louder. Yeah, them send him away for a little while. You understand and him at work. Uh-huh. So me there and him called me one time and asked me. Why, how come I don't call him? So I tell him, say, I don't have no credit. If I can't buy credit, and call him, say, you can't buy credit, put on my phone for me call you. And him there, and him go on, him go on, him go on, him go on the most way over it. Until, surprisingly, the Saturday night, one of my friends called me, 
Oh, me a body up for money and re, 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 re. All right. If I me and him, I work for the money. All right. Yeah, and we see the same thing. I repeat itself over yeah. and over again. So you're in a relationship with him now? No, not anymore. Okay. All right. Well, not anymore. But I, anyway, I, now, I have this other little brethren in my police. Too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't see where this is going in terms of... Like, you know, different, different things that um, represent a particular continuum in terms of how you and him relate and so forth. And yeah. Thing. But what I say, we want to bring in some other call and somebody ask to play about the, the uptown thing. Because this is not really like a mix-up with it, with the entertainment um, element to it. As no, we've man, heard. the entertainment. No, me know, right. Okay. So these are some really, you know, trying things where you have got through. And, and so, you understand what I mean, say? Yes, so we're not this year anything, but it have a particular colouring and so forth and thing. But what I'm hearing from you is that you're simply not happy with this person. You love there there's some good things there, but you're not happy with this person. And it sounds to me that you know you may have to just make a firm and definitive um um choice here. No man, I got make the decision already, you know, but okay. you understand my other bridging where police so him get in a problem with femurk and them transfer him to which part the one we made it there with there. Uh -huh. And I'm fine out, say me and him are bridging now. And the man start stalk him too. The man all I call, call the next youth house phone and them something. They call him cell phone, mark up him office door, him car and beer, something, something, raga. And you and the one there? No, raga, me and him not there. You and him in a things like no. a talk? Just a talk, just okay. like a talk, talk. You look like you could have there? No, raga. You like him like that? No, Raga. Him like you like that? Yeah, him like me like that, but me make him know straight up. Okay, this, all right. Can't work. But who you there with now then? Me not there with nobody now, Raga. Okay, same, single, same. free and single. But him can't go answer them where they're not intimidate your friends. I don't, me I say, Raga. All right, me then. Me say, till all guns start draw. Two of them are draw gun after one another, Raga. The two of them are draw gun after one yeah. another? Yeah. You serious? The two police are draw gun after serious, one another? Serious, serious. And then they said the one where we like you for a long time, where you and him did there? Yeah. And things that you involved with that one, yeah? Yeah, man. And he might take it to him and I do a whole heap of foolish yeah. to the point where that one, he must have to him and defend for himself now and go and draw. Yeah, man. All right, you know. Listen, you, know, you have to be careful in all of this. You know. Everybody responsible for themselves, you understand? Yes, they might make choices, you will make choices and things. But you have to take care of yourself in all of this, you hear? Yeah. And don't repeat mistakes, you hear? Yeah, man. All right? All right. Bless, Bless up, brother. Yeah. Mm, what a prick you right there, sir. Here we go, top of the morning to you. Hello. Hello? Yes. Mr. Mr. Raga? Oh, yeah, Miss Thelma. Hello. Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning, Miss Thelma. How are you doing, sweetheart? I'm doing fine, Miss Thelma. Missed you. You know, I, you know, I don't, don't call you, but I, you know, oh, I love you. I, and, I, and I love you more than you love me. But all I want to you is respond to my call. No, Miss Thelma left a message on Kamala's phone. Nobody called me back. Hello? I left a message on your granddaughter's phone. Is that so? Yes, Miss Thelma. Well, when, when both of us mess, you can have it out. All right, Miss Thelma. Because I, 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 I get an important message here, but I have to tell you off the air. All right, Miss Thelma. Um, yes, um... Please call me because it's not one more me All right, Miss Thelma. I don't want nobody to come between. All right, Miss Thelma. <laughs> All right, Miss Thelma. Yeah, All right, Miss Thelma. Okay. Ragasanti Live, mix up and blender. Big things. Take care.